Gardener, Peculiar Gardener here, and what, what? Tropical Storm Lee? We had no idea there was a tropical storm coming. We knew about Hurricane Irene and did what we could to prepare, and she was nothing compared to this tropical storm Lee. I haven't done a gardening vlog in quite a while. I'm kind of, uh, kind of over the garden. It's September 9th, and I'm just done with it. I don't want to do any more except for put it to bed for summer. And maybe that's disheartening. I know I planted a lot of stuff for fall crop. I'm over it. Tropical Storm Lee came, and what was some cabbage we could have used is now, well, I'll show you. It's all totally rotted, which is, oh, that one looks like it might be okay. It's kind of okay, like this one might be okay. Can't quite tell. That one is definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Um, why did I plant cabbage? Uh, I don't know. I wanted to. Probably won't do it again. We obviously didn't eat it. It grossed me out when it got all wet and soggy, and I don't want to touch it now till it dries, but I'm going to have to man up, so to speak, and pick it. Throw it in the burn pile. Here's the damage from, um, we have a tree over here that needs to be taken down next year. Well, probably should have been taken down this year. Um, I don't know. I'll have to get closer so you can see we have some damage again from the tree. Just branches falling out of it. It's a sick, old, half-dead tree. Um, so we have some more damage again from Tropical Storm Lee. Thankfully, we live, I don't know where these cars think they're going. Not only are they not supposed to be driving, but you can't get to town. Town is underwater. Um, down, I don't, I can't, I don't know if I can show you from here. Oh, it's cold. Brr. We have a stream, um, it's not our stream, over this hill, see that's a pond, and then like in a little bit is a stream that is currently an ocean. There's another new stream, that stream isn't usually there. I'll see if I can put in clips of, um, of what the water across the street looks like. The ocean receded to a river. It's probably a little bit kind of at a white water rapid status right now. So um, we're supposed to be getting more rain and I'm thankful that the rain has kind of slowed down to this gross cold drizzle now. Uh, it's too bad we can't collect all the rain that we have and bring it to Texas because they are really suffering right now with wildfires. So the green beans are looking happy because there's all these, um, that's a pepper. Peppers are looking happy. Peppers and green beans have all these flowers on them. I did read um, that peppers really require a lot of water. Look at that grasshopper. That's kind of sad. In the world of grasshoppers, there's two dead ones in that jar. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have filmed that. That was sad. I don't even like grasshoppers and that's sad. Here, let's, let's tip it out. Sorry, grasshopper. Sorry for your loss. Gross, he was probably one that jumped on me. <gasps> anyway, so I did read that peppers actually require like two to three inches of water a week. So these are in fact the happiest I've seen my peppers. So I don't know, perhaps maybe I'll get some peppers out of this. Ew, what is that? Something gross. Looks like just a brown leaf. Anyway, I'm really excited to be pulling up these cherry tomatoes. I am so over them. Really didn't do anything with them. I shouldn't have planted that many cherry tomatoes. I should have planted a lot more of the big boys so I could make sauce. Oh, well, you live and you learn. Next year, I don't think I'll have like 30-some cherry tomatoes. And I won't plant them that close together either. And I'll stake them a lot sooner than I staked them this year. Um, so I'm glad that... They're kind of ruined. They're all splitting. They're all rotten. There's ew, gross. Ew, ew. There's fruit flies all over them. Oh, there's a crazy spider web hiding from this crazy rain. So I'm glad that the tomatoes are over. Parsnips. Planted them because I knew I found out they had higher nutritional value than carrots. Won't plant them again. Didn't even pull them up and taste them. I'm excited about pulling out those leeks and making some soup. I'm excited about the possibility of having asparagus sometime in the years to come. I think I may carefully dig it up one year and put it in another place. Um, 
sage out of control, but it doesn't look bad. I might still pull it up and dry it for indoor herbs. Rosemary's gorgeous, lavender is gorgeous. Some of those lavender flowers are not gorgeous. The basil has gone to seed and flowered. Tastes very bitter. Weeds are out of control. I never finished weeding Trashy, the compost pile. Shame all over my name. I know, the beans down here are looking good. There's some really pretty purple flowers. So, um, I don't know, perhaps we'll have beans here. Here's one. It looks a little too big. I'm just over it. I'm ready to be over the garden, except when I come out here and I see there's pretty flowers, then I'm like, oh no, maybe I'm not completely over it. Frank needs to be weeded. That's just too sad to look at. The strawberry bed looks fantastic. There's a lot of grass growing in there. Oh, it's this craziness here. Very strange. Strange happenings on the blueberry bush. So anyway. Oh, and here's the crazy tree that last spring we had a tornado and um, it split down the center. And ever since, um, my husband sprayed it with some stuff to try to keep it from uh, getting insects inside. But ever since, we just keep losing more and more branches. That's from yesterday, I think, from the tropical storm we're having. So I think this this big old tree, unfortunately, needs to come down because a lot of the branches, I shouldn't even be standing under it. A lot of the branches, the, the leaves are brown, so we know it's not healthy anyway. So it'll be firewood. So that's that. That's the update. I know I haven't been doing many updates for my gardening channel. Here comes more rain. Let me get under this tree. Um, September 9th. I'm kind of sort of over the garden. I want to just be in the house, cozying up with my children, uh, doing schoolwork. I homeschool the kids, so, and knitting in my free time. I'm an avid knitter. If you have any desire to knit along with me, I have a YouTube channel, Peculiar One Knits. Go check it out. I'm also learning how to sew, slowly but surely. Kind of deathly afraid of my sewing machine, but I have to get over that. It's a great machine, too. Thanks, Nana. Um, and I'm learning all these fantastical things about paper crafts. I have this crazy affinity for stationery and cards, and I have a gigantic, gigantic amount of it. So I'm putting it to use. Um, if you're at all interested, there's some great, oh, there's tons of great YouTube channels. Uh, the Crafty Christina, Steph Ogal One, Follow the Paper Trail. Find any, if you're interested, find any, let me know, and maybe I'll be interested in the same channels you are. But anyway, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you are safe. I hope your house isn't underwater. I'm praying for those in Texas with all the wildfires. It's a shame we can't bottle this water up and take it to Texas to put those fires out. Oh, it's cold and I'm getting wet. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a happy gardening day. Until next time, take care.